Hi there everyone, welcome to my next tech review about my Sennheiser Game One headset, here it is. Uh, just want to give a big thank you for clicking on my video and letting me give you my personal opinion about this great headset. Now this has been my trusty headset for almost two years now and it has been exceptional since day one. It feels very comfortable for long gaming sessions and uh, it does get a little bit hot and sweaty after a few hours but it's definitely a big plus for the velvet material that's on here compared to the leatherette material you get on some headsets. Now, in relation to the sound quality of the headphones, it is extremely good quality. Now, it's good when you put it to a motherboard, but when you couple it with a dedicated sound card like myself when I use a Creative Sound Blaster ZX, because of so many different settings and also so much power going through the dedicated sound card, it is definitely a big plus. It makes the sound come alive compared to a standard motherboard connection. But that's not to say it's bad with the motherboard. It is great on the motherboard, but it's just so much better with a dedicated sound card. Now, the microphone itself is not detachable. Uh, it does have the auto mute function built in, also noise cancellation as well. As And the actual sound quality on the actual microphone is good, but there is a tiny bit of noise. The only way that I could get rid of it almost completely or just to have a very slight amount was essentially to bring the volume level on Windows to about 75 to 85 and do not boost it at all in Windows or on your software, Discord, Skype, OBS, no matter what, do not boost it because you'll get that very noisy interference sound and doesn't sound good when you're talking, recording or doing anything. Now. The headset comes with one extra, or it's not really an extra, it's more of a requirement, but it comes with this little jack cable, which does have a dedicated special little Sennheiser connection for this headset, so you cannot buy a standard jack and put it in. You need to get this special cable, but it's good that it's detachable, because some are fixed, in which case if you break or fray, or, or essentially the cable has stopped working, or one of the connectors ends break off, you've got to get a complete new headset, or cut the cable and rewire it which doesn't work at all so essentially because it's detachable you can get a new cable no matter what and it will essentially be replaceable without having to completely get a completely new headset and making sure that you actually sort of keep your good quality headset and only have to buy a 10 10 15 pound cable which is good now cable itself is finely braided let me just quickly show you here as you can see, there's little to no frame whatsoever. Only thing that there is is this tiny little fuzziness, which just happens because it's such finely woven cable. And I do use it quite a lot. It's always getting dragged around the desk. So it's really, really good that almost after two years, there's been no major breaks, no major tears, no major fraying, no nothing. So it's a very good quality cable with gold connectivity on either end, on, sorry, on either end, on both ends of the cable. Now, the velvet ear cushions. This is where the big drawback, for me anyway, mainly as a cosmetic thing, but as you can see, where is it? Here you go. You see this white area here? This is what happens to the headset after lots and lots of use. It's essentially just a buildup of dust and skin and hair and that kind of stuff. It's just a cleanliness thing, but essentially, you can detach them and wash them, but I've not got the courage to do that myself. Essentially, I've just sort of got to the point where because it doesn't, uh, sort of ruin the comfortable feel of it. Uh, it doesn't degrade the sound and it doesn't actually degrade the product and what at all, it's just a cosmetic thing. Then I must have just left it because I don't want to ruin the air cups and put them in the machine and wash them and then I've got them out like ah they're completely ruined, they're no longer comfortable. So I've just left them alone and that's where it is. Now the overall look as you can see it is amazingly beautiful black and red it does come in a white version so if you want white that's all cool too don't worry it's not only black version available um, but price is actually really really good it's a mid-range price uh, it's 155 pounds on amazon uk right now and 169 dollars on amazon us i'll put the links in the description below um, and essentially for the price you can't really get anything as good i mean you can get USB ones and all that kind of stuff, but I don't like USB ones anymore. I prefer using my dedicated sound card along with a stereo jack headset because of the amount of power and quality I can get coupling these two devices together. That is my personal way of doing it. It may not be the best way of doing it overall, but it is definitely close. So, 
I would definitely recommend this product for a mid-range, medium sort of price solution. Um, if you're looking for a cheap headset below $100, unfortunately it can't be done with this particular one. There are other ones out there, go and have a look at elsewhere. But for a mid-range solution, either for an upgrade or if you've got the money to spend, then definitely go for this one. Now, just want to give a big big thank you for watching the video big big uh, thumbs up if you like the video as well hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more about these videos or check out my other videos as well and i will see you all in the next video take care guys